Hello, this is my cluttered desktop. It's uh, it's cluttered because I'm going to be playing a new game. Uh, I'll explain as we go. This is the Zactronic Solitaire Collection. It is, as far as I understand it, a collection of solitaire mini games that the uh, the, the founder of Zactronics is Zach um, put in in other games that he was releasing. So, for instance, you can see over there on the in the lower right kind of it says this this first one was featured in a, a game from Zachtronics called Last Call BBS. This one was in a one called Opus Magnum. This one was in Exa Punks. This was in Mobius Front 83, which was a a, a strategy war game thing. Uh, this was in one called Molex Scientez. A lot of uh, their games seem to be focused on like programming and hacking and they can be very technical like I think in what was it in Opus Magnum I think you're like building molecules or something I, I don't know um, Eliza uh, this was in Shenzhen IO which was a sort of programmy thing maybe except for this last one which is new it hasn't been featured in anything else except this collection so that's that's your new one um, I haven't I haven't owned any of Zachtronic's previous games, so these are all new to me. Uh, and the presentation here really seems to be just really smooth and, and nice and top-notch. I, I also really dig this music. Uh, however, there are some things that I, I kind of want to adjust, and so I think I'm, I'm just going to adjust some stuff. Um, uh, where am I going to go first here? Well, so these are arranged. You can also see there's a difficulty indicator in the sort of middle lower right under the description of each game. It, it shows difficulty as a number of clubs. Um, so the, the ones to the right are rated harder. So I think I'm just going to start with the ones on the left and move my way across. I don't know if I'll be able to beat any of these games. I mean, it's kind of cool because I, I, don't, I don't know if Zach is, is just a... A solitaire fiend or something but I mean he's actually just he's these are not you know your typical like Windows 311 solitaire uh, games these are new solitaire games he's actually just come up with new rules and uh, made brand new games out of sort of you know they play kind of like solitaire but they've definitely I mean this one looks probably the most different of any of them I don't even know what I'm going to do there, but like this one looks the most traditional, but it's got its own rules, which I'll have to go through. Um, but I'm going to have to adjust some things to my to my liking because I am a, a, just a picky person. So, for instance, this is the first game. Just listen to the music. So just get the feel for the music. I love the music in, in these games. But I uh, just listen to the the volume level for now, right? Okay, so and all these also have their own UI, so you hit this little X to, to get out of here. Um, also, it's a little confusing because like this, so it keeps your your cards here, and you can even go around to other games. You can come back, you can pop out of here and go back to this, and it'll still have your cards in the same spot. But if you actually quit out of the game as a whole, it doesn't save these cards from session to session so I that's a little strange maybe I'm missing some kind of obvious save button but I, I haven't found one so anyway you can't you can't save an actual card game between sessions as far as I can tell but you can have like all of, you could start like all of these at once and just keep switching between them if you wanted to I guess uh, anyway so the music here is at that volume now if you go here Suddenly you've got much louder music. Uh, so that's a problem for me for recording and just for playing. Um, this one also is kind of loud. It, it takes a second, but then it kicks in. Anyway, uh, so I want to I wanna adjust the music. Now, fortunately, I, I was poking around the game files, as I guess I tend to do with games that I uh, put on my PC. And so you've got this folder called Content. Um, and, uh, oh, what's this? Oh, yeah. And, uh, then you've got a folder called Sounds, and then you've got a folder called Music. And look at that, here's the music in OGG format, or I, did I just call this AUG? Is that right? I don't know. So, the, I was poking around, I was look, opening these up in, um, Audacity, and it's these, uh, 
these three tracks, I've made do, I've backed them up in case I screw them up, but these three tracks, Burbank, Cheyenne, and Lightning, are the noisy ones. Uh, you can see that they are much larger sound curves, or whatever you call them, sound waves, uh, I don't know. Um, uh, where's my other one? They're just, they're just bigger and louder than, for instance, this one from one of the more normal sounds. I think that's from the first game. Um, so, uh, I just have to just quiet them down a little bit. Uh, and I think I do that with amplify and then give it a negative number like seven minus seven decibels. Let's see what that gets us. That looks, that might still be a little, it's a little thick. Uh, let's do, let's do minus seven point five. I think that'll work. Okay, so uh, I think then we can export, export as AUG and quality all the way. And um, so this is currently at, well, I guess I'll have that there. Let's go ahead and hit save. Uh, yes. Uh, okay, whatever. And now... So the original was 18.7 megabytes. The new one is 18.3. Should work. Uh, hopefully. Okay. So that's one down. What do we got here? Oh, uh, Cheyenne. Okay. So if I want it to be about like that, let's do, uh, I don't know. What's already got? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Let's do, uh, Minus four. That looks a little tiny. Let's not do minus four. Let's do minus three. No, not quite that much. Let's do minus 2.5. That looks about, that looks good. Let's, let's go with that. Um, isn't it nice that you can mess with your game files like this? Um, uh, okay. Whatever. No, get out of my way. And, uh, you... This is a big one. Uh, try minus seven. Oh, that's way too much. Minus uh, six. That's probably a little much. I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. That looks about right. Yeah. Look, I'm a visual artist, so I'm just going by looks. Uh, actually, wait. Uh, maybe? No, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So, uh, 5.5, wait a second, oh, well that came out way bigger, how did I do that, uh oh, well why did this one not come out bigger, I don't understand. Maybe Cheyenne was originally saved at a lower detail setting. What does this tell us? Bit rate, uh, 1536 kilobytes per second. What was this one? No, it's the same. What's the one I saved? 
Let's just say, well, uh, I don't know why mine came out bigger. I don't know what's going on. It's still the same bit, right? Two channels, 48. Uh, maybe it it's the wrong track somehow. No? Well, whatever. Let's, let's just pretend it's fine. Um, okay, let's just pretend that all worked. Hurrah! Why did I have two? Okay. 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 So now, in theory, if I, for instance, load this up, that still sounds really loud. Gosh dang it. That's not it. Was that the one? Yeah, that didn't actually make it much quieter, did it? Well, maybe it did. Let's just pretend it's good enough. Okay, um, what else? Uh, well, okay, so there's there's an option screen you click by, you get by clicking this little gear thing in the upper right. Uh, you can switch between windowed and full screen. You can switch between a couple resolutions in windowed mode. I can't change my, my uh, well, in full screen. So I'm running Windows at 1080p. Um, there's this display quality thing. So the default is high parentheses 4K. Uh, and for instance, if we look at this, you'll see it's everything's nice and sharp. They've got these little airplane diagrams on these cards they, with these this tiny little all caps print. You can you can actually still read that and everything, even though it's really tiny. So everything's super sharp, really really nice, really clean and sharp looking. That's cool. Uh, Blurry textures have become a bit of a, a sudden pet peeve of mine because I recently tried to play a couple um, Mahjong Solitaire games from a different company who shall remain nameless. You may have seen the videos, but I since deleted them because I didn't want people uh, getting eye strain trying to look at, trying to watch me play because it turned out the tile textures in those games, and one of these was an old arcade game, you know, an old 2D arcade game from the 90s. Um, the tile textures were just drawn blurrily. They were just a little blurry, and uh, my eyes started hurt after a while trying to match those tile um, patterns together. So this one's nice and sharp. That's good. But if we go here and we say, well, I'm, I'm not playing at 4K, right? I'm playing at, at, at 1080p, so maybe I should... So there's only two settings here. There's high 4K low 2k right so i'm thinking wait should i be at 2k then i mean is it just a waste to be at 4k and you look at this and like uh, nope those cards are blurry now that's not what i want so it's going to be 4k the odd thing is though that most of the games do not get blurry and like the the ui here does not get blurry the blurriness is selective uh for instance this game the the little uh, tiles or whatever do get slightly blurrier than they were but other stuff like this writing over here in the UI that does not get blurry it's even weirder too in um, this one I don't think oh no these cards do get a little blurry uh, yeah but the UI doesn't get blurry again uh, there's some of these don't get don't change at all which you would think is how it's supposed to be that one doesn't change that one doesn't change uh, this one doesn't change. This one, 
I noticed uh, these two buttons here get blurry, but nothing else gets blurry. The cards stay the same, except there's one card, one of these cards, I don't remember which one, gets like one pixel sh shorter. The card just gets a pixel shorter when you switch to uh, 2K detail level, but it still stays sharp. These buttons get blurry, that's it. So it's just weird, weird selective blurriness. This one stays the same. Uh, these, oh, this one's weird too. The, uh, like these face card designs, they stay sharp. They don't change a bit. I was comparing these, like, in Photoshop, zooming in and using, like, different uh, filters, the settings to compare. Um, but, and, like, these numbers on the cards don't change. Those stay sharp. This little sign next to the 10 there stays sharp. But then these bigger signs in the middle of the cards, those get slightly blurry at, uh, at the 2K setting. So it's just this weird... I, it, there, there should be no blurriness in a 2D game ever. You should not be, ha you should not have a setting in a game. If you're making a game, you cannot have a setting in a game that blurs your 2D like UI. You can't do that. You're gonna give people eye strain. It's not just bad art. It's, it's bad for people's health. You just, you just don't. How, how is this allowed to happen? There should be a law. So, um. So that's bad. So I don't want it on low 2K. Uh, the fact that it's called 2K seems awfully misleading. Because I'm running it... At, well, 2K there, 2K is not even a, a definition, really. Uh, I mean, I looked this up. Like, 4K is fairly defined, but 2K is not. And uh, so that should be a clue that this is not, not a good technical term here. Um, so... I'm gonna leave it on the default 4K. I don't want to. I don't want it ever to be on 2K. And I was thinking, man, I, I wish I could just edit the game and take this option out. Just take it out. I don't want blurriness. I don't want to get eye strained somehow by somehow accidentally switching that. Uh, so I thought, well, I, I don't know how I could do that, but I thought of, <laughs> I thought of the next, next best thing because again, I was poking around the, uh, the files here as everybody does, right? And well, for one thing, there's this. There's this textures folder, and it's only got one stray thing in it. A Windows banner, flash export, frames, dad, what? It's like this little file just escaped from the herd or something. Uh, anyway, uh, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for, it turns out, packed. Packed, you've got fonts, you've got textures. Fonts are, uh, are also textures, I think. But you've got all these textures here. Dot text files, I don't know how to open those or anything. I don't need to. Uh, we, what you've also got is this half folder. It's like half. What is half? Well, if you open half, you've got fonts and textures again. So, oh, so... But you notice it's not as many files. So it's like only some things get halved. But, um, so I figured, well, half is probably just what it switches to using when uh, when you switch to the 2K setting, right? That would be a sort of simple way they could have set this up. So I was thinking, well, if I don't want there to ever be any danger that I could end up looking at blurry textures that were somehow set to the, the low detail 2K, quote unquote 2K setting, uh, what if I just delete this folder? Bye. By blurry textures, I just delete. Oh, by the way, let me undo that. This is um, it's about it's a little over sixty megabytes of blurry textures there. Uh, oh, the other option that I thought of would be well, you could just copy this stuff into half, so it was just the same no matter what you switch it to. But I was like, man, well, I mean, for one thing, that's you know, you're wasting two hundred megabytes of space on your hard drive, which you know isn't that much, but. But also that just that I don't I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of it. <laughs> so then the question is, well, what happens now? Is the game still going to run? Well, it runs. Can I can I load a game? Looks like it. So I came in here and uh, well, it's on high 4K. What if I switch it to 2K now that I've deleted that half folder and I clicked? I thought, oh, you can't click it. That's perfect. That's just what I wanted. It just doesn't function now. And then I realized that, no, that's actually not it. 
Um, what it's actually doing is crashing right now. So uh, I can't click anything because it has crashed. So, uh, but if we run it again, it, you'll notice it still loads and it's still on high 4K. So I have basically, by deleting that, <laughs> That low quality texture folder, I've made it so that I cannot toggle to the low quality display, which is what I wanted. Um, it does mean if I did accidentally click that, it would crash, which is not ideal, but, you know, I, I like to live on the edge. So, uh, so that solves that problem, right? Um, I'm not really sure what the display zoom does. I think maybe... Like I saw this in one of those Mahjong games I got, which is where like when you're when you're down to fewer tiles and they're clustered together, the camera will well, actually I saw this in a Microsoft Mahjong game as well. The camera will like zoom in on those, just the just the cards that remain or whatever or tiles that remain. I don't want it doing that. It's kind of a gross effect, so I'm not gonna mess with that. Um, you've got you can switch to the software cursor if you want a slow laggy cursor, which I don't. Uh, I may you know, you got the double click, uh, input mode. I think that's what I would use if I switched to using like a, a controller or something. But if I'm using the mouse, I think I want it on click and hold. I'm not really sure. One of the, the la that last game uses tarot cards. I don't, I, well, actually, so wait, it's on Arabic. If I load Fortune's Foundation, but I don't see Arabic here as it is, so I'm not sure if this is what it means. Uh, no, so I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna leave it on Arabic, which was the default. Uh, and I don't know what this is either, so I, I don't know. Now, the two that remain, or the, so you, there's two volume sliders, and I do have a, another um, pet peeve here, which is that there's no there's no numeric value. It's not showing me what I have this set on. It's just like, well, hope you remember approximately where you set this, because like I record these, you know, for for posting to YouTube, right? So I want my volume setting to be consistent every time I record the game. Well, that's kind of difficult if I don't have a specific number that I can note down to say, hey, when you record the game, I've tested this, I worked, I've balanced it out with my microphone volume recorded at game volume, you know, X. Well, I can't, I can't do that here. You're not giving me a number. Uh, that's not, that's not good. I don't like that. You've basically made these sliders kind of useless to me, except you'll notice I do have this one lowered for music. And uh, the reason why I was able to do that was, again, because if you dig into... Uh, so if you go to your... your um, what am I doing here? If you go to your uh, user's documents, if you go to your documents folder that Windows sets up for you, you'll find that the game, when you install it, creates a new folder, if you didn't have one, called My Games, and in that uh, a folder called the Zagtronic Solitaire Collection, and that's this non-Steam user, because I, I guess because I bought it off GOG, I don't know. Uh, and in, so it is saving stuff. I'm not sure what it even saves. These are tiny, tiny files. Um, maybe that's just my options setting. I don't know. Anyway, no, these are my options settings. So... So yeah, so there's this config.cfg file, which is a text file. You can open that baby up in a text editor. There's all kinds of settings in here. Most of these are the options that are in the actual options screen. I'm not sure what display index is. I tried enable colorblind mode, and I didn't see a difference. I'm not colorblind, so I, I don't know. Maybe I'm not looking right. Um, the forced low-quality textures is that, that troublesome uh, 2K, 4K texture toggle thing. Uh, I don't know if there's actual other language support. Um, there's this one os.windows.useopengl, which you can set to true, and then when you run the game, it takes uh, about three times as long to load, um, and then it looks exactly the same. So I don't, I, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't get, uh, I don't know, I tried that, but it didn't seem to make a difference in anything useful. Um, uh, 
but then you've got these so you remember in the options screen in the game there's two volume sliders there's one for actually what are they and the only difference the only positive difference that that 2k setting made is that it loads slightly like a second faster um on my laptop here uh so there's effect volume and music volume so that would probably be that would probably be volume dot effect and volume dot music actually it is because i've adjusted that and that's so that's how i adjusted this in the game i just typed in the number 33 so that number i can write down for myself uh in fact i wait that's not it we're gonna write it down anyway it doesn't matter that's the number i've written down for myself so now i can I, now i have a figure that i can set it to right i can i can come to this stupid text file if i ever need to set the game up again elsewhere or here or i don't know and reproduce that volume setting so that's good i shouldn't have to go to a text file to do that but um at least at least i can now these other two volume settings uh are not in the, in the vo option screen volume dot voice i don't think there is voice in the game maybe they originally were gonna have voice I don't know. I haven't come across any voice, so I don't know what that is. Uh, volume dot main adjusts all of them, or at least you know the two that I can hear, which are music and effects. So if you wanted to lower both effect and music, you could just do you could just set this to thirty three instead of setting this to thirty three, right? Um, but uh, the effects are not actually very loud, so I am just adjusting music. Um, but I thought that that this is here is interesting, and it's not in the the main option screen it's like i i guess they kind of wanted to you know go for a minimal look and figured that was superfluous but they kind of made it too minimal if you ask me by not having you know numbers here telling you what you set the darn slider to i hate that i hate that anyway let's let's actually play a game um now that i've whacked this thing out so starting with what is well this one is one Okay, that's too difficulty. This is rated as one difficulty, so we'll start with this one on the far left. Uh, one of the two easiest ones, it says... Sawayama Solitaire. This UI over on the left is, is not functional, it's just there for looks. Um, wait, what game was this? This was from a last call BBS, so I, I don't know if it's supposed to look like... something related to that game. I do kind of like this... Uh, this pixel art look. Not all of the games have a, a pixel art look. Some of them do, like um, this Scudge Solitaire does. It's got a black and white pixel art look. Uh, actually, I think that's the only one that does, but the rest of them are mostly, you know, smoothly rendered and so forth. Um, so, okay, so we can also hunt through the UI until we find the buttons for rules and new game. One one of the games does not have a new game button, um, which is something I found noted on the Steam, uh, Steam community forum. So the rules. So this is not normal solitaire, even though it kind of looks like it. Uh, stack cards by alternating colors and decreasing values. That's like normal solitaire, right? Any card or stack can be moved into an empty column. I, I believe you do that in normal solitaire. Clicking on the deck will deal... I, I mean, I haven't played normal solitaire, like, in forever, so I don't know. I've probably always played it by the wrong rules anyway. I, you know, it's like actual cards. Clicking on the deck will deal additional cards three at a time. Right, that, that sounds familiar, too. When the deck is empty, it can be used to store a single card. So, one thing I used to think you did in, in normal solitaire was that you could just keep dealing through the deck repeatedly. But you can't do that here. You can only go through the deck once. So I guess maybe I was cheating in regular solitaire when I was a young lad before I got a Game Boy and needed some way to pass, you know, the time. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so you can only go through the deck once. It doesn't say that, but I've, I've found that. And then you can, you can put a card down here to get it out of the way to unearth another card or something. So that's kind of handy. Uh, to win, you have to stack. So that's just like normal solitaire. You stack all the cards on the aces on the left uh, in order. And that's it. So uh, it doesn't tell you how this differs from regular solitaire, but I think 
Well, actually, it might say it out here. What does it say here? This originally started as a high-tech solitaire variant to match the stylish computers of the fictional Sawayama company, and I guess that would be in that last call BBS board game. When that didn't lead anywhere, we eventually asked ourselves, what do people think of when they think of the 90s and solitaire? The answer, of course, was a classic Klondike in implementation that was included with Microsoft Windows. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I think of. I was trying to remember, was that... I could have looked this up. Was that Windows 3.11? Uh, that that was in? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Sawayama Solitaire was an attempt to evoke our nostalgia for the original while being, being cooler, jazzier, and a more skill-based game. This also makes it the only Zactronic Solitaire game with hidden information, with a deck of cards placed face down at the beginning, just like in a traditional game of Klondike. So I, I think... I think maybe the difference is that you can only go through that, uh, that stack once. Um... And maybe also that you can't move the cards, you can't move all the cards around like maybe you could in normal cell, I don't know. Like, you can only, you can only move the bottom cards here and any more cards that you play on those cards. You can't move these, these upper cards that, that spawned here. Uh, just the bottom ones. Um, so I've sort of, you know, done quick little stabs at this game a couple times so far, and I have not gotten anywhere at it. Uh, I'm, I'm terrible at it, and this is the easiest game in the collection, so that doesn't bode well. Uh, but, I mean, I, I like the music, I like the, the pixel art, I like these cute queen cards, like the queen just looks kind of adorable, she's got little, little red, rosy spots on her cheeks, and, I don't know, she's just, uh, I guess the king's alright, you know. But the queen's just, uh, she's just kind of an adorable queen. Okay, so, I don't know what I'm doing. I put the five on the, red five on the black six, right? You can do that. Um, uh, I don't really see any other moves here, right? This red queen won't go on a red king. And I can't move any of these deeper cards. So that wasn't a whole lot. It sure be nice, oh wait, oh that's the ace. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. Well, that's kind of a problem. Mm-hmm. That's not a good way to start. I need to unload that three on a four. If I could get a black four, that... Oh, there's a black four. Well, then if I could get rid of this... I don't know, anyway. Okay. I don't have a red six to put on that... Or a black six to put... Oh, wait. Well, I do, but it's not movable. Okay. Oh, I do have him. Don't have a jack. And here's another red three. That doesn't help me. Okay, black nine. I got nothing to do with a black nine. Mm. So I already have a black nine here, but again, I can't. Oh. didn't get me anywhere. I wonder if I should not have played that, but you can't go back. There's no one to. Uh, yeah, nothing else to do. Jeepers. Oh, God, I don't have a jack out. I don't have a jack. There's a jack. Uh, son of a gun. I got two cutie queens here. Well... Oh great! Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna die. Or whatever happens in solitaire when you fail. Uh, wow. Well, this is skill based. It said I'm not doing well. Gosh, no fours. So. Aces even. I mean, come on. Uh, I mean, suppose in theory this must have been solvable, right? Is there something I could have done? What could I have done? I don't know. The most pathetic solitaire player. Hey. Okay. 
I can do anything else though. And that used up my stack, so um, now it's just whatever I can come up with with these cards. All I can think of is I could put the three up there and then I could free that ace and then I could move a king down. I think. Wait, I can't move that king. I can move that king. Or I could move anything there, really. So... I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do. I wish... Um, I mean, I could put that five up here. Well... No, because I need... I could put the five up there and then move the eight over and then onto that nine. Or I could free that ace. I should probably free that ace. Because then I will free up that slot again, actually. Yeah, that's that's the smart move, right? I don't know. I'm just tortured by uncertainty at every step of the way here. Well, I can't think of anything else. So I can pop you there, and those go there, and then you can go there too. And now I have that slot free. I could put that 5 up there now. I could put the 7 there and get the jack, but that wouldn't give me another move because I don't have a 10. If I put the 5 over here, I could put the 5 there. I think I could put the 7. I can put anything there or there, I think. So I got two free slots right now, but. Uh, what's the play? Can't move that nine. If I move the king and queen, then I'll have a four. Uh, but that doesn't really get me anywhere. And I can't, like, I can't deal back through this thing. I guess it keeps track of your all-time wins, maybe. That's, maybe that's what the save does. Um. So the other ace was over here. Well, there's, so, I mean, how can I get, uh I mean, you're hosed, right? How could you even get back to that ace? This seems impossible, and this is the easiest one? I must have done something horribly wrong. Okay, okay, think think positively. I'm probably not going to win it, but what could I do to advance myself the furthest anyway? Uh, I could... I could put this queen somewhere and then I could put that this six over on the, the seven that would free up the red king but that doesn't uh, doesn't help me I mean there's no way I can solve this now right there's just no way So I could clear this, right? Because I could like move this here. Four goes on the five. Five goes up here. <laughs> and uh, and then the four of hearts is available and that goes over there. And uh, uh, and then I have another a slot free. So I guess that seems worthwhile. That would mean I I have to use two slots to have one slot. So that's maybe not ideal. Uh, it doesn't get me anywhere closer to that ace. Or does it? I don't think it does. I 
Oh, well, why? Uh, that was staring me in the face the whole time. I, um, and that doesn't, that doesn't make a difference, I guess. Boy, so three of, wait, what are, I don't even know what, what, are these clubs or are these the other things? Spades? I guess these are clubs and those are spades? I think, I don't know. I'm just gonna pretend these are clubs. Wait, I should look. I'm gonna look up on my phone. Uh, card suits. Okay. Yeah, we got pips. What are the pips? Tell me the pips. Okay, yeah, the, these are clubs. Good, I figured it out. Thanks, Wikipedia. Um, I got, I mean, I got, I got three kings, kind of. The other king's right there, though. Uh, if I put you here, I would have that queen to go there, and I'd have a red seven, I could put the six on that. Maybe I should do that. get that three and then I could put that there and that there and then put the jack on the queen then I'd have the three here and then I would have that four I don't know I wouldn't have anything to do with the three of uh, spades though doesn't really... Well, then the red queen goes on the black king. Uh, but then the seven of hearts doesn't have anywhere to go. Well, black six goes on the... Oh, yeah. Black six goes on the red seven. Um, four can go over there. What does five do? Oh, five can go up there, and then four, so that's clear. I guess I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't know what else to do, really. I mean, there's a couple other things, but I don't, I don't see them being better.
if I moved this king down, I could put the four on the five. I could put the three on the four. And then I have a two of diamonds. And I could put that on the three. Then I'd have the nine of hearts. I could put the eight on the nine, so that would fix that. And I have another slot for E. That seems like a good deal. Right? Wait, what do I do? Oh no. Oh, okay, yeah, wait. Four goes on the five, three goes on the four, two goes on the three, eight goes on the nine. That's easy. Still, I'm running out of uh, more things to do, though. It would sure help if I had that three of clubs. Well, maybe not much. already here. Well, so I can put the seven there, then I can put the jack here, then I have the three, and I can clear the three and the four, and the five. So then I have that slot free. So that was just, I have to move the seven over here, though, which is not ideal. But... I think I have to do that. And anyway, I, oh, then I can clear that seven. So, uh, and actually I can move this jack, right? I don't need to put any other jack there. Oh, that was part of the plan anyway. Okay, so... farther than I thought I would. Uh, I feel like I, I'm, I'm running up against this, this hard barrier of not having any tens or, or only one check. this king over there, but uh, well, and then I can move the seven on the eight. Can't do anything with that darn nine, though. Garg. Oh, well, I could put the eight on the Might 
just be about my colors. Well, I'll get a 10. Stuck now. along here. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's the other black jack, but it's just the jack I don't need, but the other one's here, and the other the reds are just way out of it. That's a real problem. That is a huge, huge problem. But I got two slots free, so, you know. Uh, what can I do with that? So I could put this here and then put the nine up there. Uh, and then I'd have the ace free, but then that doesn't... Then I'd have a four. Oh, then I'd have a red jack. Well, whatever, we're doing it. I should take the this one because then I have a slot for you and I can play that 10 anyway. Right, because I play this 10, then that doesn't get me anywhere. I don't think it gets me anywhere anyway. Well. spades is all the way over there. The ace of diamonds is way down there. Holy... Should I, like, organize my kings so they're over here? Should I have, like, the biggest king stack here? <laughs> and we're just shuffling deck chairs on the Titanic. Um... drop that queen and that jack down, but then I could put the nine on the, or the ten and the jack down, and then I could put the nine on the ten. Uh, then I could play the, okay, well, that's about my only move anyway.
Do I put the jack down here or over there? I have no idea. Well, let's just say I put it somewhere and then I can put the queen here and I have a king. I could put him on either of the other spots, but I would probably want to put him here, except I'll have a red 10 that I could not, so I would need the jack here. Right. Which seems wrong. But I think that's the only way I can get that red 10 out of there. stuck, right? Probably. Could have used a red seven. Maybe that's what I screwed up. Shouldn't have put all those cards on there, maybe. this. Okay. Um. You definitely can't take those back out. hearts on the ace stack. Uh, and the two of spades. And I can play the seven. actually did it. Whoa, it's playing itself. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I did it. Holy Toledo. That was amazing. I mean, I guess that's how the game works because I thought I was dead like five times. Wow. Well, that was cool. What a roller coaster ride that was. I like how the cards are just sort of doing that sheen. Man. Well, that was cool as heck. I love how that you win text appeared there. Like, Bazam just gilded it. Well, dang. I wonder if that one stays there forever now. We can count one. Well, that was the easy one. Uh, like, is it still there? It's still there. Okay, what if I quit? And then go back. It's still there. I'm still a winner. Cool. Well, the next one would be Sigmar's Garden. I don't think I'm going to play this now. I got to go to bed. 
but uh, Sigmar's Garden. So this one looks like, you know, Chinese checkers or whatever the heck that is. I spent months trying to invent a small invent a small tactical mini game for Opus Magnum. Something about sword fight fires. Oh my, there's a typo there. Sword fires, knights and grenadiers clashing in the streets. When I finally accepted that no one was able to understand it, it only took me an hour to come up with the rules for Sigmar's Garden. Wow. Uh, when I finally accepted that no one was able to understand it, uh -oh. it, finally t it only took me an hour to come up with the rules for Sigmar's Garden, a Shanghai-style tile-matching game that reused... Well, wait, Shanghai is a copyright of... Um, of... Uh, the heck is it that holds that copyright? It's an American company, American game company. It's like one of the, is it Activision or something? Yeah, something like that. A Shanghai style tile matching game that reused the marbles of, so don't let whoever come after you here, Zach, for using Shanghai. Uh, matching game that reused the marbles of Obus Magnum's alchemical machines. It was simple and fun and tied into the main game in, in, in an interesting way. If the marbles were placed at random at the start of every game, most layouts would not be winnable. Oh, so we took some pains to ensure that every starting arrangement you get is a solvable one. Well, that's good. I hope all the puzzles work like that, even if it might not seem like it. Oh. Hmm. And there's a quote here. Everything around us is made from a small number of underlying elements. I guess that has to do with the Opus Magnum game. By studying these elements and their transmutations, the alchemist learns to understand the universe itself. And that is quoted as being from Asmodeus II. Who is Asmodeus II? Wikipedia. Or is it Asmodeus II? I don't know. Take me to a disambiguation page. Uh, hmm. Asmodeus uh, is a prince of demons in hell. Oh, what? Uh, okay, I, I don't know who Asmodeus 2 is. Try Googling. Maybe they just made this up. Looks like it's made up. Or somewhat made up. Okay. Um, so yeah, I don't... Uh, let's see. So here's the close button. Here's the new game button. The how to play button is here. There is... Got your marbles. Oh, that looks fun. So, I guess I'll try that next time. Oh man, these are loud popping sounds. Oh no, I did something. Did it just free up a tile? Is that what? I, I combined them? Ah. Clicking randomly. What are these? Oh, that's how many are left, I suppose. Yeah. Well, every one may have been winnable, but I may have already broken it, for all I know. Anyway, uh, I guess I'm going to do that, or try to do that next time. And these things look like buttons, but I don't think anybody, anything else here is a button. Um, pretty cool, just graphic uh, look going on, though. Kind of neat that you can click these and highlight them. Oh, 
Okay. Well, that's it. So I won Sayama Solitaire. Look at me. Or Sawayama. Yeah, Sawayama Solitaire. The easiest game. Although this one is the same difficulty rating. So I guess that's encouraging. That one is a little harder. Um, so, yeah, whoops. Uh, so, yeah, who's, who's the cool solitaire man? Uh, I guess I am. Okay, well, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Guess I'll try Sigmar's Garden next time. Um, that's it for now. I shouldn't need this config file as long as that 33 stays a 33. And it did, so that's good. And, uh, hopefully this came out sounding okay. Okay, well, heck, I guess we did it. Thanks for watching. Ah, uh, good night.